Hello, everybody. Welcome back to uh, Green Dragon Hearts. We are here. Welcome back to me. We are here. We're going to do some Fallout 4. Now, I haven't done anything with this game yet. This is literally, it took me a bit to figure out how to get it to open up in full screen mode for some reason. Bethesda doesn't think that computer game players play with bigger screens, I guess. I don't know. So, let's hope that it works with the changes I had to physically do to make it work. Um, thank goodness there was other people there to help me, since I'm not huge techno knowledge person when it comes to uh, the depths of computers and games. I know a smidge, but man, not not nearly enough to figure some of this stuff out. <clears throat> All right. Fallout 4. Dun, dun, dun. We on the moon? War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. <clears throat> All right. Um. I don't know if this is the same guy or whatnot. Never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, hun. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. <laughs> Face one. What is this? Guess A. All right, so right button looks. Uh, nice five o'clock shadow, boss hoss. Let's see her A. Oh, oh, there's a robot behind me. Oh man. <laughs> Talk about a change. Hey baby. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Funny. Let's 
I got 15 pre-made faces. All right, let's do F. Highlight a facial feature. Press mouse one to make adjustments. Okay. Oh, oh, I see. Urban Ranger. The professor. Nice. Did you get a haircut? <laughs> That's funny. Um. <clears throat> Uh, nine to five isn't different, really. The rebel. Oh, the Pumadora. What? That is a sad Pumador. That is a horrible alpha male haircut. Um, Colonial. Colonial's kind of cool. Top knot. How hilarious. This new haircut's really working for me. You can't even see the top knot. Um, funny. Rowan. Wait, did you get a haircut yesterday? Funny. Barely visible, though. Garage band. Man. Whoa. I guess I missed a balding. Made by her hombre. Ooh. Oh, man. They are just. There's some. There are some bad haircuts on here. Yeah, not bad. Alright, we'll go with the Urban Ranger. That forehead. More like a yellowed. Now, these colors are not pleasant. You have such strong cheekbones. Whoa. Definitely interesting here. Okay, so... Escape. T. Let's get some facial hair here. Wow, they got a bunch. Wow. Hmm. I don't think I like the hair so much. Oops, oops. Straight to flush. Oh, it's kind of like mine. Oh, now that one is like mine. I have more of a goatee in mine, though. Um... Right, what do you think, huh? I like beard that. Or no beard? All right, let's get some cut. What? I was color of facial hair. T. I guess there's no. Uh... I like the beard. Oh, C. There we go. C. No, that's the skin color. Maybe we have to go back to hair. There we go. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> Too bad they don't have like a speckled. 
um, color or frosting. Um, because, like, that's me. I'm a frost nowadays, and my aging awesomeness is definitely more of a frost. I clean up pretty nice. <clears throat> Let's see here. All right. Body. We're all like, raw ripped. Yeah. That's skinny. Oh, man. Whoa. That is, that's all stuff's kind of funny. Let's just go about right there. There we go. All right. <clears throat> extras. What's extras? Uh, markings. Oh, no. Oh, go. Oh. No, no freckles. Oh, do I have to have these? Oh, that's just nasty. Oh, gosh, no. Um. So handsome. Oh, there we go. Remove. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, okay. That stuff's scary. Damage. Scars are okay. Can't see that. I can see that scar right there on the cheek. Lip goggles. Oh, looking good. Yeah. Huh. I wonder. That's a huge gash. Why so serious? Oh, I like that one. Right brow deep. It's subtle. Because the left is like ginormous. I like that. Bad. Not bad. Um, except it's gone now. Oh, that's the face I fell in love with. Oh, E. You get to the hit E. Um, or not. Space to apply. Now I see. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so. Okay. E to accept. If I do say so myself. There we go. I'm happy with that. All right. Okay, escape. Um, all right, we're good. All right, like when I first set this up, <clears throat> I was playing in windowed mode, and I'm like, oh, heck no, I ain't doing window mode. I don't think so. Then I, uh, why does it do that? Oh, I see. For when you want to talk to somebody or or access something. But I was like, no way, man. I am not messing um, with windowed mode. So then I changed it and got um, 
in the thing it was all just it was all jacked up I guess E is the um, wow, function thing. That kid looks like a doll. <clears throat> to think one day he's going to learn how to drive. <laughs> He'll either be great at spelling or great at smashing blocks together. Can't wait to teach him to ride this. The glove's a little big right now, but Sean will grow into it. Huh. How'd you get on the floor, Mr. Bear? There we go. It's always nice to see games actually using chairs. Um, it was definitely not something that was much used back in the day. Um, definitely nice to see. Activate camera. We really need to get those vacation photos developed. I hope they've added more music, because that is the same music from Fallout 3. Uh, so I hope they added more. Um, yeah, let Codsworth take care of it. Another fine product of General Atomics International. Abraxo. For all your cleaning needs. <laughs> ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee. 173.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Brewed to perfection. Thanks, Codsworth. Of course, sir. A good man, Codsworth. Oh, I'm sorry, Codsworth. Was I in your way? Enjoy your coffee, sir. Hmm, Sounds familiar. Huh? Well, look at you. How'd a girl like me ever get so lucky, huh? Sugar bombs. 100% daily value oh, of like sugar. Someone made a stick. I shall attend to young Sean. <laughs> you know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. I like the um the fireplace. That's cool. Now who left those here? It's a little early to be drinking. Man, this guy has all rules. Um, okay. I'm having a feeling that uh More the same. It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. Good morning. Voltec calling. Voltec? Remind me again. Why, we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, Voltec is the foremost builder of state of the art underground fallout shelters. Vault, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Urgency? What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language... The big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think. If you catch my meaning... Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a... Uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. 111. But there's room for my entire family, right? 
Of course, of course. Miner's your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. A it's robot just would be a useful. Of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. Tell me more about this vault. Oh, it has all the amenities of the modern home, I assure you. Not to mention total protection from nuclear radiation and hostile mutants. A better future underground. It's not only our mission. It's our passion. Sure, let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. <clears throat> oh, I have to do my thing now. They're not doing a... Oh, I can't... <sighs> can't see the top of the screen. So obviously... um. When you change the settings a little bit, you lose. Because I think it still opens it in window mode. All right, what should we call ourselves? Um, hmm. I did not think of this. There we go. We'll do something funny. Not like the name matters, really. All right, so we got 21 points we have to put in here. Let's enter. Oh, uh, R. Nope. Oh. Okay, there we go. All right. Perception is important. I think we don't want any ones. Ones to me is bad. What's the max? Um, let's find that out first before we do anything. Ten. All right, so max is ten. So that's good to know. All right, so... I think that's probably good. We'll go with that one. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just going to walk this over to the vault. Congratulations. This guy seems very shifty. For the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> good answer. I have my moments. Looks like the milk got delivered. New Coca Cola. Ice cold. Saddle up Salisbury steak. Great at eight plus. I think he needs some of that paternal affection. You heard Codsworth. Go on. Hey, little buddy. The most important man in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Do you hear that? Why'd you shut the door? Now, huh? Hey. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. 
And do what? And do what exactly? Sir, mom, you should come and see this. Codsworth, what's wrong? Followed by, yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. Vault tech guy still here. Trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with say? our affiliate stations. Oh, no. we, do have, we do have coming in. That's um, confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh gosh. Oh my God. We we need to get to the vault now. I've got Sean. Let's go. Let's go, lady. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault One Eleven immediately. Run, baby, run. Check in at the gate. If you're in the program, you'll get in. That's absurd. I am not on the list. Tech. You don't get in. I'm going in. You can't stop me. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Why are okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, ma'am. God help you two, us all. follow me. Come on. What's going to happen to all those people <clears throat> outside the gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. Come on, baby. Run. Step on the platform in the center. Almost there. We're going to be okay. I don't know. Both of you. We love you too. better off doing them in caves at least when you got into the cave you're fairly safe um, other than the cave part caving in on your butt but <clears throat> it's always my always concern when it comes to these we did it we made it, we made it. except we got radiated okay. everyone please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion no need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. <clears throat> a better future underground. So we just... Yes, up Come the on. stairs. Let's go, people. Excuse me. Up the later. stairs. No, no, we don't. Don't get fashion. caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head mm. up these stairs and through the door there. Man. Hey, hello there. Once we seal the vault, we'll all be getting to know each other a lot more, I'm sure. Male. Female and infant. Female. Okay, welcome. Creepy. Right over there. Just step over to the table. Hey, <laughs> man, you are scuzzy looking. Whoa. Hey, Bertha. Excuse me. We've been waiting forever. Take a vault seat, then head down the hall. You'll need your suits before we can take you further. Uh, thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. All right. See? This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. Just this is the newest. Dang straight. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. We were really Sir? bothered down in DC. Oh God. Hey there. What if they didn't make it? I know this is a difficult uh, How long do you think we'll be down here? Um, oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. 
Just a few medical items we have to get through first. A couple hundred years, lady. Just checking everyone off the list as they come in. Oh no. For the future, right? Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. What? Hey. Oh, close call, huh? And to think I thought building the vault in the neighborhood was a bad idea. Dude, what's with the cryo chambers, man? That's creeps. Dude, this where's Just the step in here and put your vault suit on. Oh man. Hey there. It'll Just okay. step into the chamber. Daddy's Dude, right here. oh man, I don't like Vault Tech. Could you help me? Who's my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. Oh my, this is creeps. There he is. See, Daddy's not going far. All set. Just step inside and put on your vault suit. Hey, hon. I think he's better. You go ahead. Oh, this is going to be like, um, um, downsized where my wife bails on me. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the pod. Depressurize. I don't think it's going to, it's going to, it's going to, Resident secure. it's going to freaking Occupant freeze vitals. you. Uh, cryostasis. Is a little bit more realistic than um, some of the vault tech living underground stuff. Suspended. Hey, what are you doing with my wife? Baby. Man, see, Vault Tech, untrustworthy. Also, I have um, all the DLCs except for the texture pack. Um, no, to me, the texture doesn't look too bad. Better watch out, buddy. Come on! There has to be a release! Come on, come on, come on! Oh, God! I'll find who did this. And I'll get shot back. Man! I promise. Jesus. Why would Vault do this? Can't be the only one left. Hello? Anyone? Oh man. They're
All right, that's a punch. Block, I guess. Whoa. Very uh, ninja style. Tech, man, they are shit. They are shifty. Do the life support. I think the mouse is a little off. Looks like everybody's gonna be dead due to life support. I guess at least all the people that didn't make it didn't really miss out. Clipboards. I don't think I need any clipboards. Coffee. Hey. Oh, coffee cup. Something over here. Oh, rad roaches. All right. Definitely, the interface is a little bit different. Um, all right, we are now in Rad Roach territory. Giant roaches? What the hell? Recreational terminal. A mini game? Donkey Kong. Frickin' Donkey Kong. That's hilarious. enough <laughs> that's enough of that um 
I said quit. Okay, quit. Thank you. <clears throat> all right. Um, all right. Funny that it has a mini game in it. Um, what's that? I just had a coffee sink. Because you can't drink out of the toilets in this one. Uh, all right. Huh. Oh, I guess that's not a place to go. Since that rad roach got fried. What happened here? Where is everyone? Is this all that's left? Man, that would suck. I guess this is the overseer's room. Is anyone alive? Um, Did anyone get out? Nice stem packs. <sighs> Let's see here. Oh yeah! Hey 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 hey! That's 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 um inventory eye. Oh man, I don't know how to get into my inventory. Escape. Nope. Tab. Nope. Okay, I guess. All right, three and four changes that. X. Um, auto, X is auto auto run. I guess auto walk. Um, v changes my. Camera angle. So does mouse. Um, scroll. What's that? Uh, F lets me assign stuff. P K. Man. Spaces jump. Q. Man. Control. Hide. Alt. Uh, power hit. Okay. Alright, well. Block. That changes it to. Huh. At least the closet's open when um, when you've taken everything. That's or not. I thought they did. Okay. A little confused on how to get my inventory open. Nice. Coming back later for you. Oh, I see. Uh, lock picking. Should just be a key for that. Let's see here. Save. Um, new save, I guess. Um, where's the options? Settings. Controls. Thank you. Power attack. Activate. Reload. Pip boys. Tab. Um, I did tab. I guess tab is what we have to do for that. Okay. Tab. 
Okay, I must not have a Pip Boy yet. Um, settings, controls. It's got to be an inventory button if you can't get it through Pip Boy. Quick map in. Yeah, I must have must need your Pip Boy basically to do anything. Okay. So you have to find the Pip Boy first. All right. Okay. Wow. They are just cold hearted people. Uh, Craziness. All right. Uh, overseer's log. Yeah, exactly. I questioned him. Uh, evacuate the Hmm. <clears throat>
Oof. Man, definitely a nice guy. All right. Um, all right. We need to go back to that other way, though, because... Oh, sorry, dude. I probably missed something <clears throat> over there. I always end up going down the right road, you know, to take me someplace quicker. But I, it's always sometimes annoying because then I have to backtrack to take that one spot that I didn't do. Um, <clears throat> all right, so. Yeah, this one here. Oh, see, inaccessible. Run! Oh, still move pretty fast even when I'm not running. So. I don't feel too bad about walking, which is nice. That's, oh man, because some games just are annoying when it comes to that. That game isn't so bad right now. I mean, you know, you got the always in the beginning of the games, you got the major story. That can drag. Um, not having a pit boy, being able to access my inventory and stuff seems silly. So hopefully I'll be able to pick one up here. Oh god. Left. Oh. Not see him. Oh, thank goodness. That thing's creepy. Like it shoots needles into my arm or something. I'm like, oh, Select tab with mouse one. Okay. Change selections with A and D. Okay. All right, and then press tab to exit. All right, good to see. Wait one. Where's his damage? Doesn't say. Looks like there's no damage. <laughs> I can switch wedding rings. Funny. Um, I don't know what the heart stands for. Okay. Aid. I don't know if I call Wonder Blue junk. Mods, ammo. Oh, up and down also changes the tab. Okay. Out of time. Workshops. Okay. Up. Oh. Okay. Um. map nice and radio how do I tune 
I guess you can't you can't manually tune it. Well, you can look at it though. Okay, well, whatever. All right. All right. So I think what we'll do let's look over here. Gross. Uh huh huh huh. Okay. Oh, this is the... So wait, why is the door opening now? If it didn't open before. Kind of weird. Alright. Alright, so what we're going to do here is we'll call it here because I think when we open the door we're going to end up with more stuff. So... Thanks for playing with me, guys, and I will catch you on the next episode of Fallout 4. Thanks for playing with me, Green Dragon Heart, signing out. Okay, so have a great night. Oh, no.